Hey everybody, welcome to Skip, Try, or Buy. And for today's review, I have the Sminiker Pet Hair Clipper Pro. So let's check it out. So we're gonna have a slight unboxing here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up and let's see what's in the box. All right, so first it looks like we have an instruction manual. This is gonna be important. So real quick, little backstory. Uh, as you know, I have a little dog, her name is Pop-Tart, and she is a poodle mix, and her hair grows incredibly fast. And we take her to get groomed by once every two months, and it just doesn't seem enough. And in the past, I have done some minor grooming at home, just, you know, some trims, and I wanted to see if maybe I could do it a little bit better so that maybe I could be her in-between groomer. Um, so we're not expecting miracles, but I want to be able to neaten her up and just make her look a little bit better in between her normal grooming. So that's why I got this kit. So it looks like we have some scissors with a comb on it. So you can see that. See, so it has a comb at the top. Uh, nail clippers, which I will not be using. I do not clip her nails. So this will be done by the vet or the groomers only. So I won't even use these. Uh, looks like we got some regular shears. Now I will say these are pretty heavy weight. I don't know how good they are, but they, they have nice weight to them. And then we have a comb. So this will help me get any tangles out or anything like that. So that's nice. Again, heavy weight. Um, so it looks like here we have a nail file. Again, I don't do her nails. I'll take her to the vet or the groomer. So we will put that to the side. Looks like there is a service card where you could uh, get a gift card by doing a review for uh, the company that I purchased this from. And I did get this on Amazon. Okay, so let's now see what's actually in the box. So in the box, it looks like, obviously, I have the cord. Got to use that. Now, this is cordless, but I will need to plug it in, obviously. Um, the next thing we have here is the actual razor. Um, and it looks like you plug it in down here. I'm trying to see, I think this comes off. It probably does, I'm not gonna worry about it now. Um, let's see what it sounds like, cause that's important. Cause a lot of times dogs don't like a lot of loud noise. Um, so let's see if we can hear how it sounds. I'll put it up next to my microphone. I don't think that's too bad, right? All right, so then we have some actual uh, guards and this helps determine the height that you want to cut the hair down to. So we have three millimeter, we have a six millimeter. It looks like we have a nine millimeter and a 12 millimeter. It looks like we have a brush and this brush will be used to clean, you know, clean out the razor. And then finally, it looks like we have some oil here, which my understanding is you would put on the razor in between cuts so that's everything that's in here. I'm gonna take a moment and uh, review the instructions and then I'm gonna bring Pop-Tart in here and scare her. No, I'm joking. And then I'm gonna bring Pop-Tart in here and try to give her um, just a little a shave up or something. I've never shaved her before. Like I said, I've just used scissors. So this will be interesting. Worst case scenario, I'll take her to the groomers next weekend and we'll get that fixed right on that. All right, give me a minute. Let me go read the instructions. All right, so you see we got a little Pop-Tart here. She's here. And all I'm doing right now is I am going and brushing out her coat because when I go to actually trim her, I don't want it to be too curly so that the razor doesn't get stuck in her coat at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start it and let's see. I'm gonna try the next one down. So we are gonna do a nine. So all you have to do is pop it off or slide it off either way. I'm trying to slide it off. Sorry guys, I mean, working with live animals is not easy. Can you even see me under here? <laughs> Shave it directly down. I don't have to worry about if it's gonna to be too short or too long. Perfect amount comes off every time. So I did start with the 12 and go to the nine, but I felt like they were both a little high. So now I am going back to the six, which I actually uh, like. I'll tell you what, I do feel comfortable using this on her. 
because with the guard on it, I feel like I'm not going to hurt her. She seems to be pretty comfortable. She's not making any, you know, noises or anything. <laughs> so I'm cleaning the hair out of it. See, I'm just going in here and cleaning the hair out of it. Alright everybody, so now it's time to get into the review and where I'll tell you whether I think you should skip, try, or buy the Spinnaker Pet Hair Clipper Pro. I'm going to go ahead and say that I think this one is a buy and I'll tell you a couple reasons why. So as you saw when I was actually grooming Pop-Tart, the uh, clippers went through her hair very smoothly. I felt like they cut off an even amount and being somebody who is inexperienced with doing grooming on a dog, I felt very comfortable and that I was being safe with her and that a, she wasn't gonna get hurt, most importantly, and B, she wasn't gonna come out looking crazy. Now, I will say a couple things. For some reason, at some point, this started to sound like it was getting louder. Um, it did. She didn't seem too bothered by it and it didn't affect her, but I kept this on the low speed. It has a dial here so you can turn the speeds, and I kept it on low the whole time, but at one point, low actually started sounding louder or faster than the higher speed, so I don't know what that was. Um, it didn't get warm or anything, so that's good. Um, I will tell you that these scissors right here with the comb, pure crap. I mean, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but I couldn't even get her hair to go through them. So I'm going to say they were pure crap. So I didn't like the scissors, but I didn't buy this for the scissors, so I didn't, I didn't really care that much. I will say the other scissors, on the other hand, these cut beautifully. They're sharp. They're crisp. I thought they did a great job. And the one thing I wanted to mention is I actually have this type of brush. So I use this and yes, it still has her hair in it. So this is how I made sure I got her mats out before um, I ran the clipper through her so that it wouldn't get caught. So I guess now it's time for the big reveal. And so I'm gonna show you my little baby girl Pop-Tart. First, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. Now remember, I'm not a professional. This is just to make her look a little better. Pop-Tart, Pop-Tart, over here, over here. Look at the camera, look at the camera. I don't know how much you can tell, but her hair is shorter. Pop-Tart, sit, Pop-Tart, sit. You want something to sit on? Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie. Sit, Pop-Tart, sit, sit. Good girl. <laughs> That's what dogs do. We actually bathed her um, about two days ago, so I'm not going to rebathe her. Um, I didn't have the tools at the time to go ahead and cut her, so I couldn't do that. But next time we'll do it all on the same day. But in general, I think she looks pretty good. Um, I did read one tip about how you could even this out a little bit if you wanted this and this to be the same height. Apparently, they're supposed to be. Um, you could actually take the razor and go backwards just over her hip bone area but I'm not worried about that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I put out new content. I hope you learned something. I hope you thought this was fun. I learned that blonde doesn't look good on everybody, but it's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Make a Pop-Tart a sister. Pop-Tart, you want a sister? I can make you one. I got enough. No? Okay, so now I'm going to go in. Ooh, <laughs> Look up. She's like, but this is not how they do it.